Hello, in this presentation, we're going to talk about the creation of customer jobs within QuickBooks Pro 2018. If you have been following along with us, we will be continuing along with the Get Great Guitars. If not, that is okay. We're going to show how to set up jobs for customers. If you have the backup file up to this point in time, you can restore that by going to File, Open and Restore Company. That will get us to the same point in time in terms of the data. We will be entering data. So it is useful if you're following along with the problem to get that data at the same point so that uh, we're all working on the same area. And we have the home tab open here. I'm going to show where the home tab is. It's in the company and home tab. I also like to have the uh, view open items list here, which is in the view tab, open windows list. I'm going to click on that. We see then that we have these windows open. That's what we have at this time. I'm actually going to close a couple of them just to have the one window of the home page. Now we're going to work on creating a job for a customer. Jobs can be useful in many different ways. One of the main ways that we're going to use the job is to apply particular costs to a particular job for a particular customer. So if we have a customer that we are doing uh, multiple jobs for, it could be useful for us to track the individual jobs uh, for a particular customer individually. And then when we create the invoice, we can track the uh, information within the invoice to uh, a particular job. So for example, if we were tracking time, if we had kind of a job cost system, and we were tracking the time that we have and we put in and the people and our staff are putting in, then we would want to track that to a particular customer and possibly to a particular job. And then when we invoice, we can apply that job, uh, that time to that particular job and create the invoice based on it. So that's one of the major functions that uh, creating jobs could use. They're going to be a versatile tool. That's what we're mainly going to be using it for. So let's see how we would set up a job for a customer. As First, we're going to go to the customer center. So we could go here. I'm going to go to the drop down because it's always an area we can go to no matter where we're at within the program. So we're going to go to customers, customer center. And then here is our customer center. We only have a few clients that we will be working with here in order to create jobs for. We're going to create a job for Jones Guitar. So that's going to be right here. In order to create the job, you must first click on uh, Jones Guitar. So we want to be on that particular customer. Once we are, then we can go up to the new customer and job item here. Select that drop down and we can add not a new customer, but a job. When we do so, it will add that new job below the current customer. So we're going to say add new job. And all we're going to do on the new job is add the job number. So we're just going to say this is a job number. It's already related to, as you can see, the company name of Jones Guitars. So really all we want here is the new number 33005. In this case, is going to be the number we are going to apply. I'm going to keep the, the dates. Um, we don't really, the dates aren't going to affect anything as long as they're before the date that we're actually going to be entering data into. And so then we're going to have Jones Guitar, and I'm not going to fill out any of the further information, just keeping the job here as it relates to our customer, Jones Guitar. Then we're going to go ahead and say, say or OK. And as you can see, we then have the Jones Guitar, and then here's going to be the job related to Jones Guitar. If we were then to create an invoice and we wanted to create an invoice for Jones Guitar, but specific to that particular job, tracking what we're doing for that particular job, the maintenance on a guitar for that particular job, we would then go to the home just for demonstration. If we went to the create invoice, then rather than typing in Jones, we can type in 3005. There's the job. And if we tab through that, we will then have it related to the customer of Jones. And that will be uh, the information that we can put in related to the particular job for a particular customer. So I'm going to close this out. We're not going to record this. I'm going to close that out. And we're going to create a custom, a couple more uh, jobs here, or at least one more job for another customer. And so we're going to go back to the customer center. So here is the customer center within the open windows tab. And the next one we're going to create is for Sam, the guitar man. So I'm going to make this a bit larger. 
So we can see the full name. There is Sam. We need to click on the name. And once we are on the name, we're going to go up to a uh, new customer and job. And we're going to create not a new customer, but a new uh, add a job. And the job in this case, all we need is going to be the number. And that number will be for us 4002. This is going to be related particularly to that particular customer. And that's all we really need here will be that data. All the other data related to the customer within uh, the customer field. So I'm going to say OK. And there's the job uh, related to Sam the Guitar Man. And we can then apply any information that we're recording for that customer to a particular job and then build that particular job. So those are going to be the two jobs we're setting up now just to show how to set up the jobs. We'll be working with invoicing later and show how we can tie an invoice out to a particular job and what that will look like, what the effect will be on that uh, and what that can do for us in practice.